Over the summer, more than 60 new Iron Age and Roman settlements were discovered during flights across Holderness. When you think of archaeology, something like this probably springs to mind, but the sites which were discovered in Holderness this year are still buried underground and were only found because of the dry weather we saw earlier this year. Well, without the good weather, there's no chance of seeing the stress that's going to reveal the archaeology for us. Dave is the man behind the finds and says it's not something you normally see. What we're looking for is marks in the crops, different growth in the crops, and that's brought on by the stress induced by really dry weather, particularly at the start of the growing season, as we had in the spring this year. If you can imagine a, a field of barley uh, and it's beginning to yellow, the archaeology at one stage can look green against that yellow, so really strong, as though somebody's drawn on the, on the ground really quite detailed plans of what lies beneath. Every new site was then photographed and mapped out by a team of archaeologists. But the most important part of the discoveries made over the summer for the team here at Humber Archaeology was the sheer number of sites found in the Holderness region. The discovery that Holderness had so many settlements has changed the way that archaeologists viewed the area. It's a tremendous uh, leap forward in terms of our understanding. It's probably one of the most densely populated parts of the Yorkshire um, city, but certain times in the past far more densely po populated than, say, West Yorkshire is today. So what would life there have looked like more than 1,500 years ago? We can get an idea here at the Hull and East Riding Museum. This is sort of now, you know, much clearer that we're dealing with sort of um, a large resident population living in uh, settled farmsteads and small hamlets. The discoveries are just the beginning and it's hoped they will contribute to a new understanding of the history of Holderness. In the right conditions, we can start to build up a picture of quite extensive buried landscapes. Uh, so, you know, we can see the enclosures, but more than that, we want to see the field systems that went around those, the trackways that linked people together, and all those details that build up a picture of a past landscape. But for now, the mystery which surrounds them will remain buried with the settlements. Sarah Crudus, BBC Look North.